Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. Um, if you're new here, my name is Crystal. And in today's video, I'll be showing you all the baby stuff I got. All the baby essential and Yuma optional. And I will also explain their uses and why did I chose these products. So at first, hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga bibilhin ko, ano yung mga kakailanganin ko. Akala ko kailangan lang ng baby clothes, diapers, wipes, baby bottles. Akala ko yun lang. Or milk. Yun pala ang daming kailangan. So pinag-isipan ko talaga, research ko talaga kung ano ba yung mga kakailanganin ko. Or kung kailangan ba talaga meron bang alternative or meron bang cheaper options. So nursery. Let me start with the crib. I know most people must prefer nila yung katabi nila yung baby nila sa bed. But based on my research, that is not safe for the baby. So, kung makakapag-invest kayo, kahit yung pinakamurang crib lang, please do so. So, I see a lot of influencers or yung mga research ko yung about sa bassinet. So, sa mga hindi nakakalam, it's a smaller version ng crib. Portable sila and space saver. But most of them can only be used up to 6 months. So, hindi siya practical. Yung pack and play na tinatawag nila, maganda din sila. They're not that expensive and babies can grow with it until pwede na kayo mag bed sharing. But I decided to buy an actual crib na magagamit niya hanggang sa lumaki siya. Yung binili ko, it has 3 stages for newborn, for toddlers, and hanggang sa lumaki siya na Hanggang kasha pa siya dun. Now, for crib mattresses, it should be firm for infant or newborns. Infant lack motor control in their early stages of development and may sink into a too soft mattress and suffocate. So, ito na bili ko mention two sides. Firmer side is for infant and softer side is for toddlers. Isang reason din bakit ito yung binili ko kasi waterproof na siya. So, hindi ko na kailangan bumili pa ng extra waterproof cover. Pero kung hindi kayo makahanap ng waterproof crib mattress, pwede naman kayo bumili ng waterproof crib shit. Or anything that can protect the mattress para mas matagal magamit ni baby. So, nothing special. You just need regular crib covers or crib sheets. So, yung theme ng nursery ni baby is celestial. Kaya ganito yung mga design na binili ko. And may mga binili din ako extra plain colors. One is gray and one is white. Yan. The more, the merrier. Para kapag naglik yung diaper na baby or spit ups, may pamalit ako, ba? Changing table. I did not buy a changing table because I don't think I really need it. And medyo price din sila. Alam nyo naman dun tayo sa practical, ba? So, may alternative ako in order from Amazon. Kaso hindi pa dumarating. It's a changing mat. Kaso leather siya. So, mas madali siyang linisan. And I can, um bring it anywhere. So, pwede ko siyang i-fold lang tapos laging, lagay ko dun sa um, diaper basket ni baby or pwede ko din ilagay sa bag. So, very handy siya. Now, this is just optional if you just wanna be organized. So, naisip kong gawa ng sariling corner si baby for his stuff, his clothes, and so para easy access at organized at madaling hanapin. So, imbes na pagkalaki-laking dresser, bumili ako ng, um, affordable organizer. Tapos nilagyan ko ng bins. Tapos dun ko lalagay yung mga damit ni baby and his stuff. So, para ko siyang kinonvert na dresser. And space saver na din siya. Baby bottle. So, I have two kinds. One is Avent and one is Tommy TP. Parehas silang anti-colic. Meaning, they are designed to reduce air swallowed during feeds. So, ini-slow down niya yung milk para maiwasan yung kabag kay baby. Tapos, yung Tommy TP Meron siyang heat sensing strip na nagtuturn ng pink kapag masyado mainit yung milk. Ang galing, di ba? I know for most people, mas convenient yung electric bottle sterilizer. Pero dahil practical tayo, papakulo ko na lang yung baby bottles. And bumili ako ng separate storage and drying rack. And mas magagamit ko pa siya for long term. And mas madami pa siyang mapaglalagyan. Pinakita ko na sa inyo on my most recent video. This is specially designed pang hugas ng baby bottles, pacifier, baby stuff, etc. 90% plant-based, no harsh chemicals. So, safe talaga siyang panglinis ng baby stuff. Bottle brush! So, this is one of my cutest purchase. I got this from Amazon. I will leave a link below if you are interested in buying this too. So, panglinis to ng baby bottles. Ang cute lang binili ko kasi to. Kasi parang pwede na din siyang pang display sa kitchen. But, you can just use a regular baby bottle brush. 
So, pinakita ko na din to on my last minute shopping and haul video. Binili ko to kasi I'm planning to breastfeed and mag breast pump. So, yung mga na pump ko milk, if freezer ko. And, ito yung mag de defrost and mag warm ng milk. Pwede din tong pang warm ng water para sa mga uh, mag formula feed. So, I will just make a separate video for this. A review kapag nagamit ko na. So, other method, pwede naman kayo magpakulo ng tubig. Tapos, ibabad nyo yung milk sa mainit na tubig para ma-defrost. At kung gagamit kayo ng breast pump and mag store kayo ng milk, you will be needing a milk bag or you can just use baby bottles or other containers. It's up to you. So, after feeding or in between feeding baby, um, kailangan natin silang i-burp or pag-burp. And most of the time, may mga spit up. So, sabi dun sa nabasa ko, you will need at least 10 to 14 burp cloth if you are doing your laundry once a week. So, bumili ako ng total of 12 burp cloth. Ayan. Tignan ko kung magkulang pa yan. Tapos, may mga nabili din ako um, receiving blanket. Ito yung mga ginagamit na lang pang swaddle sa baby or pang balot. Pero multi-purpose kasi yung mga ganito. So, pwede siyang gamitin kahit saan. Pwede pang kumot kay baby. And, pag naubusan ako ng burp cloth and it's not yet time for our laundry, I can use one of these. Pacifiers. So, apat lang yung binili ko kasi hindi ko alam kung magugustuhan ni baby to. Sabi kasi may mga baby na mapilit sa pacifier. Pero kung wala naman siyang ibang option, magiging mapili pa ba siya? Feeling ko lang hindi naman kailangan na masyadong madami yung pacifier or different kinds of pacifier. I think you just need some extra pacifier just in case malaglag yung isa. Meron kang reserva. Bibs or bibs. Ayan, alam naman natin lahat kung para saan to. Pero sa mga hindi nakakaalam, these are for spit-ups, um, pills, or drools to protect yung damit ni baby. Pamponas na din kay baby. So, dito sa US, bawa i-travel si baby kung wala kang baby car seat. Nabasa ko din na may mga hospitals na hindi ka nila i-release kapag wala kang car seat for baby. So, dito, if you live in the US, this is one of the basic or one of the most essential things that you need to buy first para na din sa safety ni baby. Car seat cushion, extra safety lang to, but this is just optional. But you don't really need this because kung bumili kayo ng car seat, most car seat, meron na silang protection. Paranoid lang ako. Car seat canopy pang cover kay baby pag maine para ma-protect na din si baby sa alikabok and virus, ganun. Car seat mirror. Kasi dito dapat nasa likod si baby. So, this will help you monitor or see baby para hindi mo na kailangan lumingon-lingon sa likod habang nagdadrive ka, ba? Morning walks para ibilad si baby sa araw para sa vitamin D. Or if you just have to go somewhere and you want your baby to be comfortable kesa bit-bitin mo siya or nasa car seat siya, then you will need a stroller. So, kasama na to nung car seat na binili namin. So, 3-in-1 siya. Pwede siyang pang infant. Pwede siyang pang toddler. And pwede din ipatong yung car seat dito kung ayaw mo nang istorbohin sa baby. Now, this is just optional for some people and for me too. I got this Moby wrap from Amazon. Pero gagamitin ko siguro to pag medyo malaki na siya. So, binili ko lang siya just in case kakailanganin ko. So, ito yung step-by-step -step tutorial kung interesado kayong gumamit ng ganito. Or pwede kayong gumamit na lang na regular na baby carrier para hindi nyo naisipin kung paano gawin yung wrap. Baby swing or baby bouncer. So, ito yung pinakamagandang affordable na baby swing na nakita ko. Battery operated, may sound machine, may speeds yung swing, and portable na din siya. So, pwede ko siyang dalhin kahit saan. So, binili ko to para pag may kailangan akong gawin, kailangan ko mag-CR, pwede kong dalhin to. Kung saan nakikita ko si baby at ilalagay ko siya doon. Tapos, yung swing nakakatulong din sa pagpatulog daw ng baby. So, multi-purpose talaga siya, kaya isa siya sa mga list ng baby essentials ko. How often do you have to bait a newborn? Sabi, three times a week lang daw. Hindi dapat araw-araw. Or hindi naman kailangan araw-araw. Baby tub, ang pangligo ni baby. So, this is the cheapest that I can find. Pwede din naman batcha kung gusto nyo. Kasi wala akong mahanap na batcha dito. So, may lalagyan na din siya ng soap. And nilalagay itong net for newborn para nakahiga si baby. Tapos, pag nakakaupo na siya, hindi na niya kailangan yung ganito. Pwede na lang siya umupo dito at tapos sumando siya dito. Body wash and shampoo. 
So I heard a lot of good things about this brand, Avino Baby Wash and Shampoo. And I have Johnson's too. Parehas lang binigay sa akin, so I will try them both and see kung ano yung masiyang ni baby. So after maligo, syempre kailangan natin pampunas, diba? But it doesn't really have to be a baby towel. You can just use regular towels. But for me, bumili lang akong baby towels kasi gusto kong meron siyang sariling towel sa size niya. Washcloth or bimpo. Alam naman natin kung para saan to. And madaming uses to aside pang hilamos lang. So, eto, pang suklay to for babies and pang massage ng ulo nila pag pinapaliguan sila. Nabasa ko yung about sa cradle cap, yung parang dandruff sa mga babies or sa newborns. It is common sa mga newborn babies hanggang 12 months old. So, ito talaga yung ginagamit nila para sa mga ganon. So, just in case, meron ako. For moisturizing baby skin, you will be needing lotions. So, I have Avino and Johnson's too. Parehas lang din binigay. So, gagamitin ko silang parehas to see ano yung mas hiyang ni baby. So, basic needs for hygiene and panglinis cotton balls, and cotton buds. So, itong cotton buds na to is especially designed for babies, but I will just use it to clean yung outer parts ng tenga ni baby. Bulb syringes, pang suction ng milk and mucus ni baby from the nose and mouth. Kaya bumili ako na extra at magkaiba because I will use this for baby's mouth and I will use this para sa nose niya. So, para hindi ko napagpapalit kasi magkaiba sila. And, meron din ako nabiling electric nasal aspirator. It's from Free the Baby. So, pang clear din to ng sipon ni Baby. Meron siyang levels ng suction. And, meron siyang kasamang dalawang different tip sizes depende sa age ni Baby. If you are afraid to cut your baby's nails, this will be your best friend. So, maganda to kung hindi kayo expert katulad kung mag-cut ng nails ng baby. Kasi kahit ako minsan nasasagad ko yung pag-cut ng nails ko. And, hindi lang siya for babies. Meron siyang six kinds of replaceable roller, sabi. So, pwede siya for baby. Meron siyang pang 4 to 11 months baby. 0 to 3 months. For mommy polishing and for mommy manicure. Now, the most exciting part. Pag-usapan naman natin yung... Baby clothes! Gano nga ba karami yung kailangan na damit ni baby? Well, this will depend on how much you do your laundry. If you do it once a week. Or kung gusto nyo lang na madaming damit and you want to dress your baby up, that's totally fine. So, I made the research kung ilan ba talaga yung kailangan na damit ni baby in a week. If you do your laundry once a week. So for once is if you are doing your laundry once a week, you will be needing 14 pieces. PJ or pajamas. You will probably just need like 7. Kasi nga, um, pajamas sila. So, isusot lang ni baby pag gabi. Or you can buy less if you're gonna swaddle your baby. Kasi, pwedeng naka one system sila under na swaddle. Next is gowns. So, pantulog din to. Tapos, ito, may kasama na siyang hats. So, cute. Yan, terno-terno. Now, for hats, huwag daw masyadong bumili ng madami. Kasi, pwede naman silang i-reuse. Kasi hindi naman sila talaga nadudumihan. And most of the time, you will just use them if you have to go out with baby. So, this is just optional. I got this from H&M. Um, the reason bakit ko siya binili is para mas madaling bihisan si baby. Because para siyang robe na pwede mo siyang i-open dito. So, it's easier to dress your baby kapag ganito yung damit. And I also got this in different colors. Pero neutral colors lang sila so I can mix and match them. Socks and mittens. You will need 7 pairs for a whole week. I don't think I will need more than that. Hindi ko naman siya lalagyan ng mga ganito all day. I read most babies likes to be wrapped because they feel safe and they get better sleep. So, better sleep for baby is better sleep for mommies too. So, madami benefits yung pagsaswaddle kay baby. So, I got different kinds. Velcro swaddle. This is the easiest swaddle to use. So, ito, naka-shape na siya agad. This part right here, this bottom part. Ipapasok na lang yung paa ni baby dito and ito na lang yung adjust for the Velcro. Fabric or blanket swaddle. So, tried and tested na to. Ito yung mga ginagamit nila sa mga hospitals for babies. So, ito yung mga pinarap nila sa mga babies. So, multi-purpose din to kasi pwede mo din tong pang-cover pag nag-breastfeed ka in public. 
or pwede din tong pang kumot kay baby. And last but not the least for swaddles, this is from Love to Dream. This is so popular. Dito sa US, mga swaddle. Kasi may mga babies na ayaw nilang sinaswaddle kasi nakababa yung kamay nila. So, this is a different kind. So, sa swaddle na to, pwede niya itaas yung mga kamay niya. Diapers. For newborns, you will be needing 10, 12 diaper changes a day for the first month. Pero sabi, huwag masyadong mag-stock ng newborn diapers kasi in two weeks, baka mag-change agad yung, yung laki ni baby. You will go through a lot of wipes and that's for sure. So, mga mommies and soon-to-be mommies, pwede tayo mag-stock ng wipes. So, syempre, gusto natin maiwasan na magka-diaper rash si baby. May nabasa ako, sabi, to prevent diaper rash, you can apply a diaper rash cream like Aquaphor or a petroleum jelly. You can apply them in between changes or diaper changes. It makes it easier to remove or wipe your baby's poop. So, most babies like noises, white noises, or, minsan gusto lang nilang na may naririnig sila. Kasi nga, maingay sa womb na nasa loob pa sila. Naririnig nila yung heartbeat mo, naririnig nila yung paghinga mo, naririnig nila yung sikmura mo, and naririnig din nila yung outside world. So, may mga babies na yung sound machine, it calms them, and it helps them fall asleep. At kung boses pala ka kayo, katulad ko, makakatulong to sa lalabay. So, I got this mom cozy sound machine so meron siyang 34 sounds mixture of lullabies and white noises meron din nga womb sound day, which is really cool so may lamp na din siya that i can change in different colors meron siyang app that i can use my phone to control and set a timer then so i just want to brag about this product this is not sponsored but i just want to brag about it because this is such a good purchase and it's so worth it but this is just optional you might just need one of this to make your life easier tummy time so tummy time is basically for muscle development or exercise for baby's neck so para pala kasi yung um, muscles nila sa neck that will help them roll over sit up crawl walk so itong binili ko may cushion siya so, pwede ko, lang, pwede ko siyang ilatag sa sahig and pwede din niyang higaan para hindi masyado matigan. Pero pwede na din gawin yung tummy time on a regular bed but not a bed that is too soft. And also, pwede niyo din gawin sa sahig. Make sure you just put something sa sahig for baby's protection. Like makapal na kumot. And also, do not leave baby unsupervised or unattended while doing tummy time. Books! So, reading books for your baby encourages them to look, point, touch, and helps to develop their social and thinking skills. So, I bought several books, some educational and some storybooks. So, that is all the baby essential I have on my list. This information are just based on my research. It might look a lot. But it's my first time so I just want to make sure I'm prepared. Please, please, if you have any suggestions or tips, please comment down below. And I will also leave a link down below as much as I can of all the products that I showed you. So yun lang. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for finishing this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe kayo kung gusto nyo. Yun lang. Thank you so much. I'll see you on my next video. Bye! You're distracting me. Go back to your room. <laughs> so, Velcos, Velcos, Waddle, Velcos, Blah. So, X, Car shit, Car shit. <laughs>